नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान ओम पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणीन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वा भगवदगीते भगवदगीतेषिणी ओ भगवदगीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एन लाइटनमेंट टू पार्थ द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस शॉवर ऑफ द नेक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डिजम कंटेंट इन युअर एटीन चैप्टर्स Oh my affectionate mother the destroyer of rebirth i meditate upon thee krishna vandana vasudeva sutam devam kansa chanura mardanam devaki paramanandam krishnam vande jagat gurum son of vasudeva the slayer of kansa and chanur extreme delight for mother devaki oh lord krishna the supreme teacher of the universe my salutations to you shrimad bhagavad gita the 17th adhyay of shraddhatraya vibhaga yoga and shri krishna has beautifully explained uh, the three types of austerities that we normally perform every being is uh, consciously or unconsciously performing and what are those three types of austerities the austerity of the body of the speech and of the mind the kaya vak and mana Uh, uh as far as uh, the manas is concerned now the austerities of manas the tapas of the manas is considered to be the most important of all because it is the mana which in fact uh, uh, drives the austerities of the body and the austerities of the speech also if mind is under control if the uh, <coughs> my mind is properly uh, arranged and when mind cooperates automatically the body and the speech also they fall in place they also uh, 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 perform the uh, austerities which are uh, 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 good in nature which are beneficial for the self and for the others which don't harm others harming in terms of the physical uh, harm or even the uh, emotional intellectual spiritual or the uh, sentimental harms there is total ahimsa that is total anudvega karam no anudvega is uh, 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 resulting out of that harsh speech hmm? so that is what the body and mind and then uh, shri krishna said that mana prasada saumyatvam mauna atma vinigraha भाव संशुद्धिपो मानस मुच्यते दट दैट ऑस्टरिटी इज कॉल्ड एज द ऑस्टरिटी ऑफ द माइंड वेयर द माइंड इज एब्सल्यूटली इन ए सीरीन स्टेट मन प्रसाद दट सीरीनिटी शाइन्स इन द माइंड एंड सौम्यत्व दट माइल्डनेस दट जेंटलनेस that uh, 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 empathy and compassion for the others which which is results out of this saumyatva of the mind out of this gentleness of the mind and with that saumyatva automatically the tendency to not harm anybody it gets uh, 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 generated then maunam the silence the mind becomes totally silent and it doesn't Uh, have the tendency of uh, go, going external in silence the mind is always in word the mind is always in word that is the real mauna that is the real silence the mind talking to the self not talking to others that is the silence and atma vinigraha the self control total self control and bhava sanshuddhi the uh, purity of disposition now with these kind of uh, happenings with these kind of things 
when the mind is absolutely under control, the self is under control, the senses are under control, and all the uh, gentleness, mildness, that uh, uh, humbleness, it shines through uh, the personality of that person. When such things are happening, when the mind is in its serene state, these austerities are called as the austerities of the mind. And this is absolutely critical. When the mind is under control, when the self is under control, when the senses are under control, automatically we also start performing those much required austerities of the body and of the speech. So having told about the, the, these three types of austerities, the bodily, the, uh, uh, the, the speech austerities and uh, the austerities of the mind. Now Sri Krishna is telling how these austerities performed by the body, speech and mind they can be categorized into the sattvic, rajasic or tamasic types of austerities. Now all these three austerities performed by the uh, the, 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 vak, uh, the, the, the kaya vachamana hmm? the, the, by the body, by the uh, speech and by the mind. How these can be further categorized depending on the uh, type of those austerities they can be categorized further into sattvic or rajasic or tamasic types. Here in the 17th shloka, Sri Krishna is telling us about the sattvic types of austerities. Shraddhaya paraya taptam tapas tastrividham naraihi aphala kangshi bhir yuktaihi sattvikam parichakshate now, these are the types of austerities. They are called as sattvika in nature. Which are these? This threefold austerity practiced by steadfast men. The threefold activity of kaya, vak and mana. The threefold activity of the body, of the speech and the mind. The physical activity, the uh, activity of the speech and the mental activity. These threefold activities, when they are practiced by Shraddhaya paraya taptam, when they are performed by the uh, 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 steadfast men of utmost Shraddha, of the most dedicated, most intense Shraddha, Shraddhaya paraya taptam, Shraddhaya, Shraddha that is practiced with the highest uh, 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 intensity, the intense Shraddha, tapta. Trividham Naraihi, performed by Naraihi, by men, by people of these three types, the austerities of the three types, the austerities of the body, of the speech and of the mind, when they are performed with intense Shraddha, Shraddhaya Paraya Taptam Taptaha Trividham Naraihi, Aphala Kangshi Bhir Yuktaihi, and how are those austerities performed? They, these austerities, they are not uh, mingled with, they are not uh, 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 connected to any of the desires. A phala kangshi. A phala kangshi bhihi yuktaihi. They are uh, not attached to any of the fruits uh, 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 of those austerities. There is no desire for any fruits. But the austerities of body, speech and mind, they are performed for the sake of performing the activities with the entire intention of just performing good, doing good to others, going, doing good to self, for the uh, upliftment of the self and doing good to others. When austerities are performed in this manner, with intense Shraddha, without desiring any fruit, Satvikam Parichakshate, they are declared as the Satvika type of austerities. Simple, Sri Krishna says, no desire for any fruits while performing those activities. Whether we are performing the activities of the bodily type or the speech type or the mental type, have no desire for any fruit, have no desire. And these are done with total earnestness. These are done with intense Shraddha, 
with intense faith that yes, I have to do good to others. I have to look for my self-upliftment, not the self-glorification, but rather the self-upliftment by denying the lower self. So that kind of austerity is performed by body or speech or mind, Sri Krishna says, are termed as the sattvika austerities. The austerity loses its sanctity to the extent fruit or reward is sought for any work. Any work for that matter, Shri Krishna has already told us in the Karma Yoga and Karma Sanyasa Yoga that any work done with the desire to get something in return, with the focus on getting that fruit, when we do any work, it is it, it doesn't uh, call for uh, a selfless work then. And same thing stands in terms of the austerities that we perform. That without desire for any fruit, the austerity loses its sanctity to the extent fruit or reward is sought for. He is steadfast in the pursuit of the ideal who remains unaffected by success and failure. Whether I am undertaking certain austerities without any intention of getting anything in return. Now, whether there is a success in my performing the austerity or in I, I, I am a failure in performing that austerity, my mind is not, I am my the thought is not on the success or failure of the austerity. Success is on performance of the activity of the austerity without keeping any desire for the fruit. There is no desire for the fruit. Relentlessly, the aspirant engages himself in his divine endeavors. Whether success or failure, whether <coughs> good results or bad results, is not hampered. The, the aspirant, aspirant is not at all perturbed by the failures. The aspirant doesn't start jumping up with the success. All three instruments, the body, speech and mind, are benignly utilized for the service of the Lord. These are utilized for the service of the Lord and for the realization of the self and for the upliftment of others as far as one can. So these three things when done with unselfish manner, without any motive of getting anything in return, that is the sattvic type of austerity. That aspirant is fixed in sattvika, who expects no reward and who does not suspend his practice of austerity for any reason whatsoever. That is the steadfastness. That is the steadfastness that Sri Krishna wants us to get into. It is not that when we are success successful, we uh, try to outperform on that austerity or when we are we get a little setback, we just abandon doing those austerities. That is not the thing. One has to be steadfast. One has to be uh, uh, yukta. One has to be sthira in the resolve of performing those austerities. And what are those austerities after all? Those austerities are adoring the Lord. Those austerities are self-upliftment, efforts towards realization of the self, austerities of betterment of others, upliftment of others. If we can give a helping hand to others in terms of bringing them up, in terms of their own self-realization, nothing like that. And Sri Krishna says that kind of austerity, that kind of austerity of the body, my uh, speech and mind, va, uh, the, the, the kaya vacha mana, these three activities done in this spirit of selflessness without desiring any fruit and done with the most dedicated manner, with intense shraddha, these kind, that, uh, act, these such activities they make the people, they make the aspirant of sattvika nature. And the austerity also takes the sattvika form, which is the purest of all, which doesn't have any self self selfishness attached to it. Rather, it is totally uh, focused on being selfless for the betterment of others and for the betterment of the, the self. 
So that was uh, about the Sattvika Pravritti of uh, uh, austerities of the tapas that Sri Krishna told us in the 17th shloka of the 17th Adhyaya, the Shraddha Traya Vibhaga Yoga. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Sri Krishna Arpanamastu. Jai Sri Ramakrishna. Jai Thakur Jai Ma. Jai Swamiji.